further problems of differentiating common functions. Question 10. Uh, there's a function s equals 3 sine t minus 3 plus the square root of t. We have to find the s dt when t equals pi over 6. So the first job is to differentiate the function and then once we differentiate, put t equals to pi over 6 in and evaluate s, find s. So to differentiate, uh, we've just got to use those we see to target up the last term in this function. So we rewrite it as s equals 3 sine t minus 3 plus t to the half. Square root of t is t to the half. Now I can differentiate the s by dt equals sine becomes cos 3 cos. So there's no number inside the sine, so just sine t becomes cos t. The constant disappears, so minus 3 is gone, plus a half t to the minus a half, bringing the power down to the power. I could tidy this up. But in this case, as I'm only trying to evaluate it, I may not bother. But you could write this as 1 over t, 1 over yeah, 2t to the half, which could be written as 3 cos t plus 1 over 2 times the square root of t. So now I have to evaluate work out what the s by dt is when t equals pi over 6. So again, check your calculators measuring the radians. So the s dt is going to equal 3 cos pi over 6 plus two, 1 over 2 times the square root of pi over 6. Put that into the calculator and hopefully get the answer in the textbook.